Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, of course. Well, who was Con Was it Congress? They were going to teach Wall Street a lesson, so guess what happens today? Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah, so today, guess what happens? 90% of the companies on Wall Street are collapsing. Hmm. I wonder who's learning the lesson. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama moves G8 summit from Chicago to super secure location. I know, at, at Camp David, I wish he's trying to shut down because of the expense of operating. And of course, every time he goes somewhere, he spends more money than it would, that, they said he spends more money on one of his trips than Camp David has cost to operate since it was gotten. But he's doing it because the people of Chicago would riot with all of those people. There. He's afraid of the very people he says that, you know, are, they speak for the 99% and he doesn't want that being spoke for the 95% of the G8 conference folks. And Obama lays out detention rules for Al-Qaeda suspects. Yeah, he's basically uh, pointing a gentleman that was a chief defender for Al-Qaeda in the United States to be the one that's in head of the rules that are going to be made up for, yeah, you know, basically they already say how the rules are working, $800,000 for a brand new soccer court for them to play on. And police demote Arizona cop over Obama image on t-shirt. Well, they actually can't serious? do that. They said that they will lose that case in the courts. The same as a, a judge supposed that they want to impeach a judge for making an off-color joke about the president. Well, there is called a little thing called the Constitution of the United States. And there is nothing in the job application or job rules that says on your own time you can't do such and such. So basically, the courts, they, uh, they, they figure the jury will probably hand these guys millions of bucks, but Obama needs it for a campaign issue. And doctors, don't push young ball players too much. Uh, I, okay, I want to tell you something. When I was about this big in playing baseball in Southern California, they used to tell us, you know, tell, they tell my father, who was one of the my, my assistant managers of the baseball team, he said, you know, you don't let the kids throw too many curveballs because they're bad for their elbows. Uh, we're talking 1940s, folks. Mm -hmm. they, they, this is 2012. They're saying the same thing in 2012 they said like 70 years ago. And you know where it goes in? What? It goes in one ear and right out the other ear because if you can throw a curveball, if you throw it fast, you throw a curveball and throw it fast. And storms demolish small towns in Indiana, Kentucky, and 38 are dead. Well, yeah, the problem is they're the same towns that were hit last year by tornadoes, or the year before by tornadoes, because for some God-unknown reason, people have a tendency to build where they shouldn't build. You know, there's there's like a, you can drive for literally hours and never see, uh, see anybody living in certain areas of the country. Oh, really? All you have to do is build in those areas, and you don't have to worry about it. Be destroyed. Oh. <laughs> Instead, they'll build an earth. They'll build a floodplain. They'll build an earth uh, hurricane area. They'll build in a, <coughs> in, a, in a tornado belt. You tell me why people would do stupid things like that. And BP spill settlement clears way for comeback. They never went away. I mean, after Obama gave them a clear bill of health, the company stock started rising. BP put twenty billion dollars over in a fund to handle everything. And, um, you know, and what they did do is, though, they pulled all of the drilling equipment out of the Gulf and took it to Obama's friends in uh, Brazil. And fresh assault on homes as, on homes as that's Red an, Cross seeks access. <clears throat> that's a town in Syria. Okay. The problem is, is there is a civil war going on. And this guy is not going to back down like, uh, okay, Muammar Gaddafi should not have backed down. It, because if you back down, then they've got you. The problem is the military is side got sod because the military is basically ran by the Soviets and the Chinese. And as long as you control the the, um, the port of Damascus, which is the gateway to the Middle East, other than the Suez Canal, you control what goes on. And you're going to well, you know, we, we've seen what happened when the United States interfered and let things happen in Egypt and in Libya. If we let it happen in Syria, they may not do business with us. So, guess who's not going to let Assad fall? And Dahmer, victim's sister, calls walking tour evil. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, okay. The, no, the, the people, um, the, the people do really stupid things to make money anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, we're going to show you where all the victims were killed and buried. 
Are you serious? Oh, yeah. And Santorum pushes social agenda in Ohio. Yeah, because um, here is the, I'm, I'm going to put it in the same way that um, basically uh, some really well-known actresses with Academy Awards have put it the, in the same situation. If you're an actress, your figure gets you the job, but your talent keeps you there. If you're running for a political office, you get, have to get elected first. If you don't get elected, it doesn't make any difference what your positions are afterwards. Most people, they'll move to the right or move to the left and get elected and then move back towards the center. So that's all Santorum is doing. I mean, he probably, if he was if he was in front of Evangelist and he thought he was going to win the Evangelist vote, he'd probably say, God has arisen and I am his servant. <laughs> yeah. And Republicans press Obama has turned the contraceptive issue against them. Oh, this is most the biggest bunch of BS I've ever heard in the universe. You tell me, listening to all of the Catholics, all of the ministers, everybody on television, that they have turned against the Republicans. No, they've turned against the Democrats. Flat out turned against the Democratic Party and said they're trying to destroy religion in this nation. We have a constitution of which the Democrats pay no attention to, and the people on the left pay no attention to. I mean, I'm going to try something. This is from Mark Twain, who basically really hated part of politics. Mark Twain said, freedom is only worth what you're willing to pay for it, and it's not worth much anymore. This was 110 years ago he said that, and it's just gotten worse since World War II. And U.S. sees more of the same from the new North Korea leader. Gee, they wow. that after, they, after they made all these deals that he was going to change. Come well, on, okay. it's the same people. The only person in the universe more gullible than Barack Obama was Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was the instigator of all of this money and everything that helped build the nuclear program, followed by another Democrat called Bill Clinton, now followed by Barack Obama, who thinks these people are reasonable and they can be talked to. Well, they can't. Mm -hmm. And Tim Hortons feels heat from animal rights group. This is ridiculous. The guy, they got a guy that basically lives off, he makes sausages and breakfast and stuff. Are you serious? So he's coming to the United States and he doesn't do things humanely. Well, in Canada, they don't give a damn about humanely. The fish, they, they grow things to eat in Canada. And total recall Japanese robot finds lost things. That one I didn't understand. Well, I know, but <laughs> total recall. I, sometimes I don't understand what the news thing is. It, it's like, what is the, the robot, how, do you, how does the robot know where it is unless he was with you? I, I know. First of all, it, 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 it's, it's sometimes, okay. They have nothing to say, so, well, they developed the fastest robot in existence, and fastest what? Well, it actually is not talking about computer speed, they're talking about the rope. They go like that, spat out of hell down a road. That's what they're oh, talking really? about. Oh, really? But does it make much sense? No, it means they don't have anything to say. China gives one child policy a face washing. Yeah, because you can have as many children as you want if you have lots of money in our party official. Aha. Uh -huh. A new discovery could be the earliest evidence of. Christian icon iconography. Well, basically, I, I, it's not going to go anywhere because they don't. They, 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 I guarantee you, they will find out that Muslims were here a thousand years before Christian and Christianity, which isn't so because Muslim religion came afterwards. And Rutgers witness overwhelmed when told Clementi feared dead. Yeah. Okay. Here's the problem: is is that. Doing things that are stupid should not be, a, you know, everybody, uh, you tell me a person that has not done something stupid in their life, is every time you do something stupid, I knew, okay, I absolutely knew when I was in college that they were taking pictures of the guys and the girls in the dorm rooms and over at the, uh, and if there weren't pictures taken over at the sorority and fraternity houses, uh, you weren't, in a fraternity or some fraternity house, basically, most people knew what was going on, and I guess today, you know, well, you ruined my life when you saw me with the football team and took pictures of it. Mm -hmm. And you basically sue for $100 million a day and, and, they, and then throw the people in jail for doing it. Rutgers witness overwhelmed when told Clementi fears dead. I know. She liked that one so much. Oh. Unnecessary cancer treatment in men on the rise. God, yeah, because men have the... Okay, the problem is is that men have pros, over, pro, overdoing prostate surgery and uh, because they have a fear of prostate cancer, so they overdo it. I mean, 
Well, you know, first of all, it's really one of the simple things that, okay, men don't like broccoli and Brussels sprouts and things that are good for them. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and Obama joins in a selling Limbaugh slur of student. Okay, we got to cover Rex's ears because you know he worships around the problem and works on. Uh, he, he basically is trying to use this against the Republicans. Basically, it, you can't, okay, I, I put this out yesterday on Facebook. The right is never going to vote for the left. They're never going to vote for the right. And so, and they really don't give a damn. So, if you preach to the masses, it doesn't make any difference what you said. Only the masses are going to listen to what you say. Nobody other than the left cares in the slightest about what Limbaugh said. No one. That's mm -hmm. all. It was just a PR thing to get it. Uh, it got his, okay, well, he's being crushed. His advertisers are leaving by the tons. And then there's three advertisers available for every one that he loses because his ratings are now at a high again. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, those live by freedom of speech should not be the first to cast stones against those people that they don't agree with what they're saying.